Hello everyone, my name is Erica and my group decided to do waterlogged to drink more water. This presentation will be presented to you by Erica Delulo, Kylie Felbauer, Jesse Kaufman, and Katie Macon. This app is very easy to use and it's an easy way to track water intake and stay healthy and hydrated. You have the ability to set goals like the amount of water that we, you would like to drink daily and to set reminders to remind you to drink water. It's a free download or a premium buy of $3.99 for a one-time buy. This app has a 4.4 rating and 2,844 reviews and it's fully integrated with other apps as well. The Healthy People 2030 objective goal that our group chose was to reduce overweight and obesity by helping people eat healthy and get physical activity. The Healthy People 2030 category that this objective falls under is overweight and obesity with a subcategory of nutrition and healthy eating. The main objective we chose was to reduce consumption of added sugars by people aged 2 years and over. Using this app would help encourage people to stop drinking sodas and other juices that have added sugars and start increasing their water intake. The behavior change theory that our group chose to focus on was the health belief model. This was developed in the 1950s by a group of psychologists who were attempting to explain why people would or would not choose to use health services such as tuberculosis screenings at the time. The health belief model addresses the individual's perception of the threat posed by a health problem, the benefits of avoiding the threat, and factors influencing the decision to act. The first construct of the health belief model that we chose to focus on is self-efficacy. This can be described as confidence in one's own ability to perform a certain task or function. Users of the app will believe that they're able to carry out their water drinking goal thanks to the motivating message that appears before any water is actually logged. The message being, start small and succeed. Also on the screen is how much water that is remaining in order to reach the goal. This shows that the individual's goal is in fact obtainable. And once the actual water drinking goal is met, an inspirational message appears. This further demonstrates the idea that the goal could in fact be met. Cues to action refers to the stimulus needed to trigger the decision-making process to accept a recommended health action. This app visually displays water intake each day to help you remember how much water you've drank. It also allows you to set goals for water intake, and the user may also set reminders to ensure that they are making their water goal intake daily and weekly. The construct of perceived benefits is the personal opinion or perception of the value or usefulness of a new behavior in decreasing the risk of a developing disease. This app shows a history log of water intake which tracks the user's intake of water and can show progress and change in the user's habits. Using this tab will allow the user to associate the positive changes in their health to the increase of the water that they are drinking daily. The last construct is modifying variables. Modifying variables refers to the skills, knowledge, and past experiences people have regarding a disease. The Waterlocked app offers third-party integrations such as a Fitbit, MyFitnessPal, and Apple Health, and it relates to modifying variables because people will already hold these skills, knowledge, and past experiences about the disease. The Waterlocked app reinforces these past experiences by having these third-party integrations. Our last slide focuses on improvements to the app. Because the app offers a premium feature for sale, we believe that the app should offer a 30-day free trial to further engage its users before they have to purchase them. We also believe that the option to incorporate other water-based drinks with zero calories, such as tea and coffee, would be a great idea. And another great option would be to have the ability to share progress with other app users from a motivational standpoint. Lastly, we believe that app should be cross-platform to make the application more convenient to use. And with this, this concludes our presentation. Thank you.